30 trap miners, three safely brought to the surface over the last three hours of this delicate operation. And, you know, there are physical issues here. Obviously, these miners have been in terrible conditions uh, for more than two months. But another big issue here is what the psychological damage may be from this and, and what sort of psychological challenges these miners now face as they come to the surface and at some point obviously want to try to resume their their lives, right? So we are joined now by Paula Bloom. She is a clinical psychologist. She is uh, actually from Chile. Her family is from Chile, so it's great to have you here. Thank How you are you much. feeling as you're watching oh my this God, with I'm us just, tonight? I'm, again, Viva Chile, very excited, very excited. It was really interesting as you were talking about the challenges. You know, it's these moments in life where people have these incredible challenges and opportunities. I mean, this is, a, this is an opportunity for an emotional reboot, a spiritual reboot. This is, these are those moments in life, those existential moments where you get to decide which direction do I want to go? So I'm, I'm so excited to see what adventure these guys are going to be on. Yeah, it is going to be an adventure. It's going to be challenging though too, right? I mean, yeah. what, what are sort of the, the psych 101, you know, the basics of what they're going to face and what the people who are treating them are going to be watching for yeah. now? Well, it's really important. I mean, what you really want to look at is um, how people are functioning. Just generally, how are you functioning? How's your concentration? Your focus? Are you sleeping? Sleeping is one of the most important things. How are you eating? What's going on with their relationships. I mean, there's going to be a whole new reacquainting kind of process with their family members. It's great that they had contact throughout this, which is wonderful. But, you know, it's just a lot. It's a lot of, it's just, can you imagine going no. from what they, so here they've had all of these different starts. You know, they had the 17 days where they didn't know what was going on. Yeah, where they then, thought they were going to die. Totally, I mean, totally. nobody found, you know. I mean, existentially. Nobody found oh, them. Yeah, amazing. Then they get found. Then they have this umbilical cord of connection. I mean, really, to me, this feels like a birth. I'm watching this, and I'm watching the women watch, and it's like all the emotions of a birth. And you know, that last trimester, that last week of your pregnancy is the one that feels like the longest. And I'm wondering yeah. if that's what this has been like. You, you think of the amount of time this group of men has been down there. There's such an age range. There's such an, a background range, really. How important is it going to be moving forward that, that they stay connected, that they, they kind of keep this group together well they're the, going to be the only guys who get it yeah no one else is going to totally get it people might say oh i'm so sorry i understand no one mm -hmm. gets it mm -mm. they get it so that'll be important but i'm wondering also if they want a little bit of distance from these guys too i mean geez they've been all together for all this time so i think it's going to be sort of a push pull push pull and, and i think it's going to be very difficult for the family um interesting too because let's face it this is the time in which we live it's going to be very difficult for these you know they're they're world famous let's face it they're not going to just be able to go back to their towns back to their lives anonymously i've seen reports that the men have agreed to you know stick together stay quiet but they're going to be offered money for their stories there are going to be films there are going to be books there's going to be pressure to talk some may want to talk that's a whole other level of potential trouble here, right? They're going to be hounded for their stories. Yeah, I they mean, are. as yeah, and I don't know how these individuals are going to. I mean, yeah, I don't know how those negotiations are going to go. And I mean, really, no leaks. For, I mean, it's yeah. just in this day and age, it's hard but to imagine. But psychologically, to face that, you're trying to recover from this, and then you have to sort of decide what am I going to do with this? Right. It is, and ultimately. All of this time that they were in the mine, there were a lot of things they didn't have control over. Their mindset, this is what it shows you. This ultimately, the way you think about things and the choices you make, this is where your control is. Yeah, yeah. Paula Bloom, thank you. Thank you Appreciate so much. Appreciate your thoughts on mm -hmm. this. All right, well, earlier I...